All right, guys, welcome back. Day number 57. And I'm starting to realize now after f getting halfway to the goal that it's more important to make nice videos for you guys. So when I'm done with these 100, I will make nice videos for you guys. Promise. All right, I gave my word. Number day number fifty-seven, episode number fifty-seven. I gave you my word. I'm gonna make some nice videos <laughs> because I am able to talk now. It's fine. The camera doesn't bother me anymore. And yeah, it's been a journey, but we still have a challenge to finish. Let's go. Cool. So, guys, the last two days I talked about why it doesn't matter how I feel and how you feel and also um yeah yesterday was bad like yesterday i was a, a little bit pissed or whatever so i no i was tired i was exhausted so i did the i did 50 push-ups and then my phone goes like yeah your storage is full and yeah we had to restart the push-ups as well who cares but yeah, the last two days I talked about how it doesn't matter how you feel, that you have to do your work regardless of how you feel. <sighs> However, you don't like, but it's also better to not feel bad, not feel tired, not feel exhausted, not feel irritated, whatever. And you do that really by taking care of yourself and being on your optimum so if you if you bring in chaos if you bring in like a and throw off your routine by drinking and then waking up hung over the next day or like not drinking enough not eating well you will throw your body off the body and the mind they are lying like both of them have to play together your mind won't work properly if your mind if your body is not do you hear that if your body is not um, in optimal shape. And then also, you can't get your body in optimal shape if your mind is not working properly. So, you really have to make sure that you lower the factors, that you get rid of the factors that can throw your day off. And that means also like not staying up all night or eliminating social media, like your phone, like so sleep properly and do all the things like that are needed for your brain and your for body to work properly. That also means like you should stretch, you should do sports, you should do strength training, you should do cardio training, you should do some fighting training just to get rid of that stress. And whatever sport you love, like go follow your passion. You need to be in balance, but you need your body to be moving and to be like fueled with the right food and the right water. It's like putting in bad gas into your in your supercar. It's not gonna run as well. Same with your body. Respect it. So once you do that, you will have a lot more better days. All right, your days are gonna feel better, and you're gonna be on your optimum more often not every time but more often and you will perform the way you expect it from yourself and the way you should be performing all right let's go let's do some push-ups mm, what do we got guys day 57 it's crazy been just one week when we finished day 50 but here I am and now after making 50 videos I am realizing that I just reached a new level in making videos <sighs> it's just about the reps guys it's about the reps showing up and putting in the work and doing it at the beginning, everybody tells you like, yeah, you should do your videos like this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I agree, like they need to be great. But what, how can you make your videos great if the person standing in front of the camera sucks? So I'm feeling comfortable, more, more and more comfortable. 
and I can't wait to level up in this and get really great at this. Let's go. Thirty-four. I did thirty-four. I don't know if I did ten too many. Maybe I did forty-four. No, I did not. But you see the problem here. Even when you do a simple task like this, even if it's like repetitive, you should focus. And if you don't focus, you should punish yourself for that. All right. If you lose count. I don't know if you hear the ambulance in the background, but if you lose count, dude, go back, go back to the number you remember, right? If you count in like in 10 steps, like always, like if you always remember the 10th number, like 10, 20, whatever, um, and you don't remember if you're at 20 or 30, you go back to 20, go punish yourself, punish yourself for not being in the moment, for not focusing, for letting your thoughts slip away and not stay on the task. All right. You'll allow yourself less fuck ups by that. So we did 34 push ups. <sighs> we got two sets of 33 left. Oh. It's about getting strong, guys. Mm. I'm gonna leave these up. So, who knows? Maybe in five years, eight years, ten years, you guys are gonna go back in this channel and see this stuff. It is what it is. Let's go. Let's do 33 more. All right, 67. We got 33 left. <sighs> you know, like when great athletes step on the field, do you think it matters how they feel? Do you really think it matters? No, they need to perform. I was this gymnast a few years ago, the Olympics, who quit because she couldn't take her Adderall or whatever she was taking. That is weak. That is not brave. I know that discussion has been a long time ago, but that is not brave. She was using a crutch to perform better. Sometimes you don't need steroids. Sometimes you need the steroids so you can believe in yourself. So it is a crutch and in athletics, it's all about, it's defined all about like what you can do from the power of your mind, from the power of your heart, you know, your self-belief. That's what makes athletes so great. And if you have to use a crutch, it's still good. It's still good. And yes, you're still the one performing it, but Is it as good though, as if you wouldn't use it, as if you wouldn't need it? I think the person who doesn't need it is more to look up to. Because 
They prove mental toughness. They prove mental strength. They prove power of heart. They believe strength of heart. They believe in it and they do it. Because when you step out there, you need to believe in yourself. Anything in life, you need to believe in yourself. Only then you will make it. Let's go. 33 more push ups, and then we're done for today. Whew. All right, guys. Happy I was here. See you guys tomorrow.